fact that I am in really good shape. In fact, I'm in better shape than most of you. <laughs> Hi, this is Jeff Trachtenberg. I'm the book publishing reporter at the Wall Street Journal. I'm talking today to a colleague, Jeffrey Zaslow. He's the author of a new book called The Last Lecture, a book that came from a Wall Street Journal story that appeared last September. Jeff, thanks for making time for me today. Hi, Jeff. Thanks for having me. Can you tell me a little bit about Dr. Pouch's situation? Yeah, he, uh, he's doing better than he thought he would, would. When he gave the lecture, the doctors had said he had three to six months of good health left, and he passed the six-month mark in February. If I don't seem as depressed or morose as I should be, um, sorry to disappoint you. Uh, <laughs> of course, when Dr. Pouch gave his last lecture last year, it really was, in his mind, the last lecture because he thought he had a, he knew he had a death sentence. When he gave the lecture, he wasn't th sure whether it was three, four months, what, it, what he had. And he still doesn't know, but his tumors are growing ever so slightly. So uh, he, he's, he's, he's still in that, uh, that tough area where he doesn't know when and how, but he knows it's coming. And what was the reaction to when the story ran in the paper? My story went up at midnight on WSJ.com, and within hours there were you know, many, many emails coming in. And, and what was different this time than, than other stories I might have written decades ago is we had this little five-minute highlight reel so said, of what Dr. Pouch had, had said uh, at the lecture, and people just started spreading it around. <laughs> Within 24 hours, it was on thousands of websites. So if you had one last lecture to give before you died, what would it be? I thought, damn, I finally nailed the venue, and they renamed it. <laughs> so your book's being published this week by Hyperion. What are your expectations, Jeff? Well, I know people are very moved by his story. I mean, I've been hearing from people literally by the thousands since my story ran about him. So I'm hoping people will, will see the book as something different than the lecture, sort of as a companion piece to that. Now, there's a lot of, a, a lot of attention coming. There's this ABC special Wednesday night with Diane Sawyer. And so, you know, in an hour, people are going to get to know him even better. Let's talk a little bit about the book. You, the book is told from his personal point of view. How many interviews did you do uh, when you were working with him as you helped write this book? Well, Randy was very concerned that he didn't want to take time away from his kids to work on the book, but he had to ride his bike every day for exercise, just for his health. And so he would ride his bike for an hour every day. He had this headset that he would wear uh, with a cell phone, and he would talk to me. I was in Detroit typing away, and he was uh, riding around his neighborhood, and there were 53 bike rides. So I sort of had 53 extra lectures from Randy that other people didn't get. What do you think people are going to learn from this book, and what do you think they'll take away from it? Well, Randy's fate is our fate. It's, it's just sped up. He's 47 years old and he's dying. We're all dying and it's just what you make with the time you have left. And he, he has such a love of life and an exuberance for just, you know, he's just been an inspiration. He's, he's sort of changed my life. I've heard from a lot of people say he changed their lives, but really, truly, he changed mine just hanging out with him and, and watching him go through this process. Now, what kinds of people do you think will read this book and will this be a gift item? Well, I've already heard from people saying they want to give it out for a graduation gift. I mean, I've heard from schools that are already planning to give it as to every graduate of you know, this, this June, which is, which is great. So, uh, I mean, you hope it appeals to all the people who've been emailing me, which is people of all ages and, and people who are living and people who are dying. I've heard from everybody. It's not about how to achieve your dreams. It's about how to lead your life. If you lead your life the right way, the karma will take care of itself. The dreams will come to you. This has been Jeff Trachtenberg. I'm the book publishing reporter at the Wall Street Journal. <laughs>